Y'all call it the Meg the Stallion Challenge, but to be honest, I think it's just yet another way for women to devalue themselves. And ladies, I'm not going to hold y'all. At this point, it's given tacky and it's given classless. I think I speak for pretty much everybody when I say we're tired of seeing it. It's played out. There is no reason why we should log on to social media and at the top part where it says stories, there's nothing but a bunch of naked women, half naked women, thongs, panties, short shorts, twerking and showing they ass. For what? What is y'all doing this for? Likes? Attention? Validation? If I'm not mistaken, y'all just did this a few months ago. Y'all had a whole challenge where y'all called it the ceiling challenge, where y'all was taping y'all phones to the ceiling and y'all was twerking upside down. We done seen y'all ass from every single angle possible. We get it. Then y'all say, oh, it's just the internet. It's not a real place. This is a real place. Y'all don't care how y'all perceive yourselves. Y'all don't care that y'all, what y'all look like. You know what this looks like? It looks classless and it looks tacky as hell. So many, most of y'all are moms. Y'all don't care what y'all kids think. Y'all don't care what y'all kids might look like. Y'all don't care about y'all image to them. Y'all talking about a challenge. Challenge yourself to be a better mom. Challenge yourself to be a better woman. Challenge yourself to be a better sister, a better auntie. Go challenge yourself to read a book. Challenge yourself in ways that's healthy for you. Y'all want to keep getting up here selling yourself short for likes and attention for what? I'm not saying you got to be a nun, baby. I show skin. I'm not a nun. I still have fun with my girls. I still be outside. I do all of that. But it's never been about what you do. It's how you do it. Man used to have to go to a strip club to see stuff like this, to fantasize about stuff like this, to desire women to move in certain ways like this. But now all they got to do, the whole world is a stage at this point. All they got to do is log on to social media and it's a million girls shaking their ass, doing all type of stuff, trying to outdo each other. Because who y'all doing it for? Oh, we ain't doing this for the man. Who you doing it for then? Y'all got to stop and think, man, because it's not given what y'all think is given. It's given very low quality. No man of high quality, the man that y'all desire, the man that y'all swear y'all want, I promise you, he gonna treat you nothing like what you wanna be treated like because no man wants to see that woman up there or a woman up there that he looking at to pursue in a serious way, shaking her ass 24 seven on the internet like that. Y'all wanna be quick to say we not doing it for the man, but baby, one day you gonna want a man and he not gonna want you because in 2024, you up there shaking your ass for likes and attention. It's not that deep, man. I don't know if y'all lacking a, a, some type of self-esteem or what, man. But y'all gonna have to pull back and reevaluate some stuff. It's not cute no more, y'all. It's played out. Stop. Please stop. She didn't tell a single lie, but they don't want to hear this shit. The crowd is going to call her and pick me and say she hating. They will write out one sexy red telling them to drink their liver away and sell the cat to the highest bidder. At some point, we got to ask ourselves, is that all there is to offer for some attention and engagement? Unfortunately, this won't change anything because most women don't know how to get the same amount of attention, admiration, and validation outside of showing off their bodies. It's like telling a crack addict to do weed instead. It doesn't hit the same. Our community got to realize that digital footprint is real and is forever. What's posted online can have long-lasting consequences, both positive and negative. Which is why it is necessary for us to consider the impact of our actions and the message we are sending. Especially in a digital age where everything is archived and accessible. But hey, who cares what I gotta say? If they decide to post some ass, I'ma watch it. But hey, let me know what you think in the comments down below.